Hey guys, it's Brittany. And it's like, what time is it actually? Hold on. Oh wait, and welcome back to Brittmas 2021. I'm actually out in the real snow. It's 25 degrees, I don't know why I'm in a hoodie. And I can't see anything because I got a bright light in front of me. So it's like, I don't know if someone's creeping up on me, you know what I mean? The reason why I'm actually out in the real snow um, it's because I wanted to do, there's this ritual, I swear to God, there's like a wolf coming after me. Oh my God, I feel like I'm Liam Neeson in that wolf movie. What's it called? Hello? Anyways, oh, my camera just said four or one minute and 44 seconds. There is this ritual that I've been wanting to do on my channel for a while now. I think I hinted this like back in November, the snowman ritual. I'm pretty sure I was like, I'm gonna do a ritual that has to do with snowmen or something like that. Or I said it on Twitter. Okay, so, so the tea. What the heck is going on? Something just fell. So the tea with this game. What the heck? Oh my god, I'm like seeing. Where did my phone go? Oh my god, it fell. Oh my god and now my phone says 144 i don't want to show you my background because it's something it's something i'm manifesting <laughs> okay you are supposed to do this ritual in the snow you're supposed to make a snowman now you're supposed to do this ritual before the new year so i've been i've been waiting for a nice snowfall to come down and there was actually a nice snowfall at the beginning of december and you can only make a snowman with a certain kind of snow. Yeah, see? It's not the right snow. Because see how it just falls? <sighs> Merry Christmas! <sighs> oh my god, sorry. <laughs> it's real snow! But see how it doesn't form a ball? Packing snow usually, like you could easily make a snowman. So this ritual is meant to be a way to invite peace and prosperity into your home and life for the year to come. So the instructions, you need one principle, yeah. snow, of course, but it needs to be the right kind of snow because this is too fluffy, but it's also like ice at the same time. Does that make sense? It's really weird. Hello? I don't know if you guys can hear that. But you need a clock or some other kind of timekeeping device, two tree branches, about like an arm's length each. You need string, something that grew from the ground, a leaf, a blossom, something that came from an animal, so a feather, some fur, a piece of leather, a small amount of cooking oil, such as olive oil, coconut oil. And this right here is when I was like, cause when I was like, I've been planning this ritual, right? I was like, oh my God, girl, this is what I need to do for Britmas, right? But this is the part that it's like, what in the heck? You need animal blood. Where the heck am I gonna get animal blood? I don't understand why they always have to ruin these rituals. Like it seems, okay, you know, I need string, I need a leaf, I need olive oil, but also you need animal's blood. You need demon's blood. You need Britney Crab's blood. Like what? It's so, why do you need that? So that's how I was like, are you getting me? Like really? And then of course you need scissors, a pin, or needles, what is happening? So how exactly do you perform this ritual? Well, during the daylight hours on the date you have decided to begin, dress warmly, exit your home, and build a snowman somewhere on your property. It is recommended that the building site be as far away from your home as possible while still remaining on your land. So you have to build the snowman at least as tall as yourself and make sure it is facing away from your home. So I gotta build a five foot six snowman. So when the snowman's head and body are complete, use the two tree branches to create its arms. Do not create a face for the snowman at this time. When the sun begins to set, that is- You know what? I just look at this as content. That's how I see it. I swear to God, the title of this video is gonna be like, what the f am I doing? <laughs> Hello? Anyways, where were we? So when the sun begins to set, you gotta gather together the following items from your stock of supplies, 
the item that grew from the ground, one of the two lengths of string, and the cooking oil. So you gotta go to your snowman, face it, or at least position yourself such that you would be standing face to face with it, if only it had a face. Using the string, tie the item that grew from the ground to the snowman's left hand. Dip your thumb into the cooking oil and push it lightly into the snowman's face where its left eye should be. When you perform steps eight and nine, chant the following words. Snowman, snowman, see my land. Hallowed soil on which we stand. Snowman, snowman, bless my home. Guide me back if I are, or roam. <laughs> Next is going to be like a tornado that comes down and I'll be living. I will be living. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody, right? I just want it to come down and just twirl. I could take a selfie with it and it goes back up and doesn't harm anybody or anything. Anyway, go back inside, lock any doors leading to the outside, go about the rest of your evening as usual, but watch the clock. Make sure you are safely in bed while prior to midnight. Close your bedroom door behind you make sure the curtains are drawn. If you hear any noises outside during the night, stay in bed. Do not get up and do not open the curtains. Do not rise until the sun is up. In the morning, look outside. Make note of the snowman's location. If the snowman is where you built it, you may proceed. If the snowman is in a different place than where you built it, proceed with caution. And if the snowman is not present, do not proceed. So now moving on, to the second night. This is, a, this is a long ritual. When the sun begins to set, gather together the following from your stock of supplies. The item that came from an animal, the second length of string, and the animal blood. Dress warmly and exit your home. Take these three items with you. Go to your snowman and face it again. Using the string, tie the item that came from an animal to the snowman's right hand. Dip your thumb into the animal blood and push it lightly into the snowman's face where its right eye should be. While you perform steps three and four, chant the following words. Snowman, snowman, see my herd. Pet and cattle, fish and bird. Snowman, snowman, bless my flock. Grow them grass from thorn and rock. Go back inside, lock any doors leading to the outside. Go about the rest of your evening as usual, but watch the clock. Make sure you are safely in bed while prior to midnight. Close your bedroom door behind you and make sure the curtains are drawn. If you hear any noises in your home during the night, stay in bed. Do not get up and do not open your bedroom door. Do not rise until the sun is up. Do I have like an audience? I swear to God, I feel like there's somebody listening to me. In the morning, look outside. Make note of the snowman's location. If the snowman is where you built it, you may proceed. And if the snowman is in a different place than where you built it, proceed with caution. If the snowman is not present, do not proceed. So now moving on to the third night. So when the sun begins to set, gather together the remaining items from your stock of supplies, the pin or needle and the scissors. Take these two items with you. Go to your snowman and face it one last time. Using the pin or needle, prick your finger until you draw blood. Like, what is up with this blood? What is up with this blood? Like, why do they always have to ruin these rituals with the blood? I don't understand. With this finger, press a horizontal line onto the snowman's face where its mouth should be. Using the scissors, cut a lock of hair from your own head and press it into the snowman's newly created mouth. Hold it there until it freezes in place. Do not allow a single strand to drop from the snowman's mouth. While you perform steps three and four, chant the following words. Snowman, snowman, see my breath, drawing ever unto death. Snowman, snowman, bless my heart, judge me whole and hence depart. Go back inside, lock any doors leading to the outside. Draw any and all curtains or otherwise block the windows. Warm up, go about the rest of your evening as usual, but watch the clock. Make sure you are safely in bed while prior to midnight. Close your bedroom door behind you. Make sure the curtains are drawn. If you feel a sudden drop in temperature during the night, stay in bed, do not get up, and do not open your eyes. Do not rise until the sun is up. So once again, the third morning, you were looking for the snowman's lo location. Hello? If the snowman is where you built it, you may proceed. If you are unable to make note of the snowman's location, you may find it difficult to proceed. No, sh Sherlock, like, of course you need the snowman. <laughs> the snowman moves. Oh my God, it's like the snowman in Krampus. Okay, 
I'm going inside because I smell a skunk. I am not about to be sprayed. That's it, I'm out of here. We are back. Why is this like a weird... Whatever. Should I change? No, whatever. I'll just leave it like this. But we are back <laughs> because... I think I almost got sprayed by a skunk. There was like freaking demons everywhere. Like a werewolf was about to get me. There's a lot of crazy stuff happening outside. But let's continue with the rest of this ritual. If you are able to make note of the snowman's location and therefore able to proceed, complete the ritual by performing the following actions. Exit your home, approach your snowman from behind, and proceed to destroy it as completely as possible. Remove the tree branches and snap them to pieces. Break apart the snowballs, forming the snowman's head and body, and kick the snow away. Remove any and all traces of the snowman from your property. Do not speak at any time during the snowman's destruction. Do not face the snowman at any time during its destruction. The snowman must be destroyed before the sun begins to set. By the time you are done, it should look as if there had never been a snowman there at all. So what is the point of this? <laughs> like, I don't even understand. Like, what is it? <laughs> if the snowman disappears, like if you wake up one morning and it's gone and it didn't melt, it physically moved, then we got a problem. That's why I need to set up like a night vision camera to film overnight to see if the snowman moves. Can you imagine? <laughs> Girl catches snowman on camera. Snowman caught moving on camera. That'd be crazy. So if the snowman is where you built it, your home has been judged worthy. It will be kept safe and well in the coming year. If the snowman is in a different place than where you built it, your home has largely been judged worthy, but keep an eye on this specific location moving forward. It may suffer damage or play host to an unfortunate incident in the coming year. If the snowman is not present, your home has not been judged worthy. Do not continue the ritual and move to a new home as soon as possible. <laughs> and that's just the first night. So what does it mean on the second night? Okay, it's basically the same thing as the first night. And then the third night, if the snowman is where you built it, your soul has been judged worthy. You will be kept safe and sound in the coming year. Peace and prosperity will be yours. So it's all about the position of the snowman. I want it to move though. I don't want it just to stay there. Who comes up with these rituals? I swear to God. I just don't understand why they're like, you gotta draw blood from an animal or something. Like, girl, what in the heck? Why? Why? It makes no sense, but... But then you're making the face as the three nights go on, right? The eyes and the mouth with blood. That's sick and disturbing. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've ever played this. If you're going to play it, like I said, you're supposed to do it right before the new year. So the best time to do it, as I was reading on the website, would have been December 29th of 2020 if you wanted to enter 2021. So playing it December 29th, but you gotta do it based on your weather. You gotta do it based on if there's snow. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Make sure that you are subscribed. Turn on your bell so you will be notified every single time that I upload. Oh, and one last thing, if you're wondering where to get this hoodie that I'm wearing, it's actually part of my merch. <laughs> It says loved by demons is actually I would say this is my most popular hoodie besides my happy birdie ween hoodie which you can get all year round so my merch link is in the description box below so yeah get your love by demons hoodie it's unisex it's cute mine I have mine in XL because I've been very into oversized stuff lately but I actually think I'm gonna get one in an X small for myself to wear when I'm not in an oversized mood and I might actually crop the small one when I get it to be like a cropped hoodie so anyways if you want to check it out link down below so uh, I hope that you guys I hope this video was entertaining and fun I don't know <laughs> the footage outside is pretty scary <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one sweet dreams are made of these